Hey everyone, I'm John Sisson, and today we're taking a look at the Sigma 135mm f1.8 Art Series lens. Now the Sigma 135mm f1.8 is designed for anyone who is looking for a fast telephoto prime lens that they can use for portraits, street photography, editorial work, or even fashion. Now it comes in a variety of mounts from Canon, Nikon, Sigma, and as you may already know, I am using this on my Sony a7R Mark II via the MC11 adapter. Now in this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour around the lens, showing you its features and its design, and at the end of the video, I'll let you know what I personally think of it, so stay tuned. Like Sigma's other art series lenses, this has a black finish with a rubber focus ring and weather seals at the mount. If you're a Sony E-mount shooter, this is a bit pointless because the Sigma MC11 adapter does not have any weather sealing, so I would suggest not using this in wet or dusty conditions. On the top of the lens is a focus distance window and the Art Series badge. On the side you have a few focusing options where the top switch is to change from autofocus to manual focus, and the second is a focus limiter to change between the full autofocusing range or 1.5 meters to infinite or for close-up subjects at 0.875 meters to 1.5 meters. Supplied with the lens is a somewhat large plastic barrel type lens hood. Also, the lens accepts 82 millimeter filters. Now the lens is solidly built, weighing in at 1.13 kilos. If you're a Sony E-mount user, it may feel a bit front heavy, especially because you are using it with an adapter. Uh, if you're a Canon, Nikon or Sigma shooter, it should feel a bit more balanced, especially if you are using it on a larger body. Now just a quick note to mention, because of its focal length and aperture of f1.8, you do have a very shallow depth of field. So if you're a Sony E-mount user, I do recommend using IAF just to make sure if you are shooting portraits uh, that you actually get your model's eyes in focus rather than their nose or their mouths instead. The lens isn't that tall without the adapter, but it is rather thick towards the front. The lens features HSM, which is handy for quick and quiet focusing. And when it comes to autofocus, this is by far the best adapted Sigma lens to accurately focus at a speed that is close to how a native FE mount lens focuses. Now that's a really big plus, and when you're factoring being able to use the camera's other autofocusing modes, that makes it even better. However, like Sigma's other lenses that I've taken a look at, it tends to struggle in low light conditions, and can sometimes miss the mark. The lens didn't perform that great when it came to continuous autofocus either, so I do recommend using single shot AF instead. Bear in mind, I am using it on the Sony a7R Mark II, so focusing speed will vary from camera to camera, and if you're a Canon or Nikon shooter, I think it would be safe to assume that the focusing speed will be a bit faster too. Unfortunately, there is no image stabilization on the lens, but given its f1.8 aperture, you can possibly get away with using it at a faster shutter speed. But if you're adapting this lens on a Sony body that has image stabilization, this would serve as a bonus feature for you. The minimum focusing distance is 87.5 centimeters, which isn't too close compared to other lenses like the Zeiss 135mm f1.8 in the A mount. The focusing ring has just the right amount of resistance when using manual focus, and does not change in physical size whilst focusing. When it comes to image quality, I was thoroughly impressed with what I was able to capture with it. Given its shallow depth of field, the bokeh was one of the highlights of this lens for me, where I was able to get some separation from the background to my subject in focus. It was extremely sharp in the centers, which is what really matters when it comes to a lens like this, and the amount of detail that it can capture down to the finest hairs is very impressive. The colors are pleasing with a good amount of contrast with only a slight amount of chromatic aberration that I noticed in my photos, but nothing too severe to worry about as it can be corrected in post. Now the Sigma 135mm f1.8 art is a great choice for anyone who is looking to get into portraiture, street photography, fashion or editorial work. Now in terms of autofocus speed, which was my main concern in the beginning, this lens was actually the fastest to focus out of all the Sigma lenses that I've tried so far. Now it's not all good news with autofocusing speed because the lens did tend to struggle when it came to low light situations and it wasn't as accurate when I was shooting in broad daylight. 
That can also be said when I was using IAF where the IAF function did work perfectly in broad daylight but again there was a few inconsistencies when I was shooting in uh, low light situations. Now the build quality is excellent which is basically the same as all the other art lenses. Uh, the design of it is great but it is a bit front heavy if you're using it on the E-mount body. All in all though, I did have a great time using it, especially when it came down to image quality where the images were very sharp and the colors were pleasing with out of focus blur being, being very nice and smooth. Now, that's it from me, but if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you already own one, let me know what you think of it. And remember to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel for more Sigma reviews and tutorials. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more sample photos and photo updates. And don't forget to take a little look this, uh, take a look in the description below for more information on the lens as well as purchasing links. Now until then, happy shooting and thanks for watching. Portraits uh, are <laughs> showing as well as I'm a so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Wait, I'm gonna move this a bit. Sigma 135 mm f1 as well as it's uh, 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 I'm going to take you a, a and you can just make sure you get the focus on your person's eye ball whoa 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 uh, if you if you uh, 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 uh,